Most of us rinse rice and pour that cloudy water down the drain, but did you know it's a gentle tonic for your plants? Gardeners have used rice water for centuries, but there's a difference between simple rinse water and fermented rice water. The rinse gives a quick boost, but fermentation transforms it into something much more powerful. Rice water is free, reduces waste, and nourishes your soil. I used to use plain rinse water on my plants, but once I tried fermenting it, the results were remarkable. When you rinse rice, you're washing away starches, vitamins, and minerals, things plants crave. Instead of wasting it, you can turn it into a mild, instant fertilizer. But the real magic happens when you let that water ferment. Fermented rice water creates a living tonic that feeds not just the plant, but the entire soil ecosystem. The fermented version takes a little more time, but the results are worth it. Let's see how to make both and what they can do for your plants. Ready to turn kitchen waste into garden gold? Let's get started. Plain rice water is the easiest plant tonic you can make. Just rinse uncooked rice in water, swish, and collect the first cloudy rinse. That cloudiness is full of starch and trace nutrients, perfect for a gentle feed. Pour it straight onto your seedlings or houseplants. No dilution needed. It's mild, so it won't burn delicate roots. The starches feed soil microbes, which in turn help your plants grow. Think of it as a light snack for your soil, perking up growth, especially in potted herbs and young plants. Use it once or twice a week during the growing season. It won't fix major deficiencies, but it's a great habit for regular, gentle care. Turn a kitchen byproduct into a small gift for your garden. That's the first step in harnessing rice's power for your plants. Now for the real game-changer fermented rice water. Fermentation lets good bacteria and yeasts break down the starches, making nutrients easier for plants to absorb. It's simple. Pour your first rice rinse into a jar, leave space for gases, cover loosely, and let it sit in a warm, dark spot for a few days. When it smells slightly sour and looks a bit bubbly, it's ready. The process creates a living tonic, rich in beneficial microbes, enzymes, and organic acids. Fermented rice water is especially good for acid-loving plants, but benefits almost any plant by unlocking nutrients in the soil. It inoculates your soil with healthy microbes, improving structure and fighting off pathogens. The result? Healthier, more resilient plants and soil. Use it diluted, as it's much stronger than plain rinse water. This is a holistic, long-term boost for your garden. Fermented rice water is truly a superfood for your plants. Let's see what happens when you put it to the test. To compare, I ran a simple experiment with two identical tomato plants. Both got the same light, soil, and care except one received plain rice water, the other fermented rice water, diluted one, five. After two weeks, the fermented plant's leaves were a deeper green. By week four, it was taller, bushier, and had a thicker stem. At six weeks, the fermented plant was nearly a third larger, with dark green leaves and its first flowers. The plain rice water plant was healthy, but smaller and less robust. The difference was clear fermented rice water fueled faster, stronger growth. The proof was in the plant. Fermented rice water provided superior nutrition and resilience. Even a simple side-by-side -side test shows the impact. If you want vigorous plants, fermentation is the way to go. Let's talk about how to use it in your own garden. Ready to try rice water in your garden? For plain rice water, just pour it around your house plants or seedlings once or twice a week, no dilution needed. It's a gentle, foolproof boost. For fermented rice water, always dilute. One part fermented water to five or ten parts regular water, start weak, and adjust as your plants respond. Use the diluted mix every week or two, especially for hungry plants like tomatoes, roses, or anything in containers. You can even use it as a foliar spray. Just dilute further and spray in the morning or evening. Fermented rice water is the clear winner for strong, vigorous growth and healthier soil. But don't just take my word for it. Experiment and see the results yourself. It's a zero-cost, sustainable way to nourish your garden. Turn kitchen waste into black gold for your soil. Your plants, and the planet, will thank you.